live here in this country. Okay, before we get started on this project here, uh, I want to just say hi to all the people. Hi, everybody, on uh, the YouTube channel. They've been asking Rick where Pop Pop Gringo is and how he's doing and everything. Well, I'm doing okay. I haven't been around for a while because I've been, uh, I guess you might say lazy. Been watching television, sitting in my recliner and sleeping. But now we're going to start this project so it gives me something to wake up uh, to. I'm sure all you subscribers to Redneck Manufacturing remember the pedal pusher. Uh, it was a bicycle front end on a rig that we made here in the shop. And it didn't work out for me because I can't get my leg up over, so I sold it. Well, I finally came up with a different idea. And uh, I'm going to call this a rat scooter. So uh, if you really like what we're building here, there's a, a channel on YouTube, Rat Rod Bob Builds. And uh, if you turn into that channel, you're going to be amazed at what that guy does. He, he is fantastic. And I, I love watching him because he has that little dummy on there and it makes him talk. And that's what I like about that. But now we're going to show you the accumulation of parts that we're going to get here. Here I got an old scooter. I got this scooter and I cut the back end off of it. I tore all the plexiglass off of it. I didn't like it. I bought it. I got it mainly to tear it apart. That's what I got it for. I never saw a, a scooter apart. Never had a chance to tear one apart. So I bought this. And I cut the back end off and gave that away to a guy. And then over the weeks, which took me weeks and weeks, about two or three weeks, I accumulated all the stuff that we need. Here we have an axle. We got a sprocket, a clutch for the engine, sprocket, the adapter we need for that, the hub for we need for the uh, go-kart tire, uh, the bearings, everything we need there. And then we got the tractor seat, which I think made the pedal pusher what it was. So anyway, we're going to get started. Rick got some box tubing here. And I guess that's where we start. Build the box tube and then uh, go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, we're trying to figure out our seat height. And I guess the best way to do it is redneck style. We got a table that I'm sitting on. And uh, it feels pretty good. And I guess you can see this is the beginning, so we're getting there. Planning is going on. Okay. This is how the rednecks do a rough layout. It's going to give us an idea where we have to go. Rick already cut two pieces that were about ready to weld on, so uh, watch for the next step.